Let's consider the following differential equation. x times dy dx minus 4y equal to 3 divided by x cubed plus 2 divided by x to the power of 4. If we're wanting to solve this DE, first thing you'll notice is this is a first order differential equation and it is also a linear differential equation. It's linear because dy dx and y are just raised to the power of 1. The first thing we need to do then is to make sure it is in the form dy dx plus p of x times y equal to q of x. In other words, we need to make sure dy dx is just multiplied by 1. Hence, in this case, since we can see dy dx is multiplied by x in our original equation, we need to start by dividing both sides by x, or equivalently, that's multiplying both sides by x to the minus 1 which will give us dy dx minus 4x to the minus 1 times y equal to 3x to the negative 4 plus 2x to the negative 5. The next step is we then identify p of x in this differential equation and you can see that p of x is the part of this that is multiplied by y which in this case is the 4x to the negative 1, or in fact the negative 4x to a negative 1. So that part there is p of x. And we use this to determine an integrating factor for our differential equation. And the integrating factor i of x is worked out as e to the integral of p of x dx. So hence in this case our integrating factor would be e to the integral of negative 4x to the negative 1 dx. Integrating that we get e to the negative 4 ln modulus of x. So that's our integrating factor but we can actually simplify that a bit because by our log laws that's e to the ln modulus of x to the minus 4 and since ln is log base e, when we have e to the log base e, that just leaves us in this case with our modulus of x to the minus 4. And finally, because of the properties of integrating factors, we actually can remove the modulus in this case to get that our integrating factor i of x is x to the power of negative 4 here. The next step is we multiply both sides of our DE by the integrating factor, which in this case is x to the negative 4, so that we get x to the negative 4 dy dx minus 4x to the negative 5y equals 3x to the negative 8 plus 2x to the negative 9 in this case. And if our integrating factor has been applied correctly, you now should find an interesting property of the left-hand side. In particular, the left-hand side of this here should be the derivative with respect to x of our integrating factor times y. And if we look at this side, you could verify using the product rule that the left-hand side here is indeed the derivative with respect to x of x to the minus 4 times y, while the right-hand side stays the same as before. And rewriting it in this form is very advantageous because remember that we're solving for the unknown function which is y here. Now, if we integrate both sides of this with respect to x, we'll simply be left with x to the minus 4 times y on the left-hand side and then we can work out the integral of our right-hand side with respect to x. Doing that in this particular case is going to give us 3x to the negative 7 on negative 7 plus 2x to the negative 8 on negative 8 plus a constant c. And now we're almost finished because we want to find y so we can divide both sides by x to the minus 4 to get y which you'll notice is actually dividing both sides by our integrating factor. And in this case division by x to the minus 4 is the same as multiplication by x to the 4 and we end up with y equals 3x to the minus 3 divided by minus 7 plus 2x to the minus 4 divided by minus 8 plus c x to the 4. And we could just tidy that up a bit to finally get our solution as y equal to minus 3 divided by 7x cubed minus 1 divided by 4x to the power of 4 plus c x to the 4. And that then is the general solution of this first order linear DE.